And it's the weekend, Jen. Thank you so much. Well, Tuesday is the day when we answer your medical questions with an expert from TriHealth. This week, Elise Benedict, a genetic counselor with the TriHealth Cancer Institute, is here. Thank you so much for being here, Elise. Thank you for having me. So if we can, let's get the question on the screen. This comes from Helen in Hamilton. She says, I'm a breast cancer survivor, and I know my daughter has to be checked as a result. But I don't know if my son's daughters are also at risk. I was the only one in my family to have this disease. Can you help us with this, Elise? Yeah, that's a great question. And we do know when we're talking about genetic testing, which is looking for inherited risk factors that can run in families that can cause an increased risk for breast cancer and other cancers, those can be passed down from a mother to both their sons and their daughters. So it is important for not only just daughters to consider testing, but also it might be something that a son might want to consider testing for, but also maybe the granddaughters because it could get passed from a son to the granddaughter. So should genetic testing be looked at as something as a preventative measure or, or talk to us about that? Yeah, sure. So sometimes we think of genetic testing as helping us understand is your family at higher risk. And so if you might have uh, cancer at young ages, rare cancers, more cancer than you expect, it could be that your family is, is it more susceptible for cancer. Um, so it can help your doctors better understand what cancer risks run in the family, how high those risks are, and what you can do for increased screening and prevention to help manage that risk. Is this covered uh, by insurance? Um, every insurance is a little bit different, but insurance plans are getting better that if okay. you do look like you have an inherited risk, um, they do offer good coverage. And even self-pay price for genetic testing if it's not covered has come down greatly in cost over the years. Well, Elise, thank you so much for coming by and shedding light on this topic. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. No problem. So, as always, remember the answers you hear from our TriHealth experts are just a good place to start. This is not a replacement for advice from your own doctor. Please send us your medical questions and a TriHealth doctor will answer it live on the air next Tuesday. Just look for a link at WCPL.com slash DocOnCall to submit your question. We will answer one question every Tuesday.